There's no one in college that is more vicious than this guy. All right. All right, so lay it to la to. Let's get right into it. 96.4 grade per PFF, first in college football, the highest of any player this season. 13.0 sacks, fourth in college football, and he had a 91.0 pass rush grade in 2022, which was also fourth in college football. He had 12 sacks, 64 pressures, and a 21.7% pressure rate, all within the top three. He has been dominant since coming back from his neck injury, and in a class defined by offensive firepower, he could be the defensive superstar that rises to the top of the board. He has the best PFF grade, but is he the best player in the draft? Let's take a look at the film. Big third and long in the red zone. As a defense, this is where you need one of your pass rushers up front to make a play and hurry the QB. Latu is exactly that guy for the UCLA defense. They used him all over the line, but on this play, he's lined up out wide on the right tackle and the running back is also providing help. Latu has good get off, but he is most impressive at the point of contact. He has quick hands and amazing bend. He can turn the corner as good as anyone in this class. He beats this tackle with his hands and hips and then walks through the running back and gets the sack. A monster play. And he can win in a variety of ways as a pass rusher. Lined up again out wide. This time UCLA is showing a three-man rush, so the right guard is going to help inside. Tackle tries to cut off the rush with a 45-degree set, but Latu also has explosive power. He gets his hands in on the chest plate and immediately stuns the lineman and drives him back. The sudden explosion leaves no time for the guard to adjust, and both linemen get tossed to the side, and Latu gets in on Caleb Williams. There's no one in college that is more vicious than this guy. He completely wrecked this game for USC. He was in the backfield nonstop. Here's the first play of the fourth quarter, and at this point, Latu decided to show off even more. He hits this tackle with a nasty jump cross chop and then bends around the corner. That move was so smooth, Von Miller-esque. His movement skills and polish as a pass rusher are off the charts. Third and 10 on the edge of the red zone, another big moment. Latu lined up as the one tech over the center. With a guy this talented and athletic, you can move him around to create mismatches on obvious pass downs. He shakes and bakes the center with a swim move to get into the backfield. He's just moving at a different pace than these other guys. And he takes no snaps off. He wants to dominate every chance he gets. Lined up at the three tech and you're going to see more of the same. Guard jumps out and tries to stall Latu's rush. But he's quick off the snap. Bounces inside in an instant. The suddenness he has is so impressive. He's a super twitched up player and he consistently embarrasses whoever's in front of him. Now let's see him in the run game. This is where more of his power is on display. USC draws up an interesting concept here. Some kind of zone counter it looks like. But they're targeting Latu. He explodes off the snap and shows very good pad level, gets under the tackle and establishes control with his great hand power. He's reading the play as he holds up the O lineman and then engages once he spots the back. Great technique and physicality. Split zone look here. Latu's lined up as the three tech. His versatility is ridiculous. Wherever he is, he makes plays. He's got some of that Micah Parsons in him. He engages the block and as soon as he wants, he disengages. Super fast swim move. Leaves the guard no chance, and he's into the backfield to make another stop. Overall, Leitu Latu is an elite talent. He's the kind of player that many teams will see as a cornerstone to their defense for the next decade. He possesses good get-off, quick, explosive hands, great twitch, and amazing bend. He has a wide variety of moves that make him dangerous on passing downs. He's clean with his footwork and approach, and always plays at full speed. He can make plays from any alignment. In the run game, he lands his hands well and plays with good pad level, which allows him to establish control of blocks, and is very good at getting hands off of him. He is the best passer I've seen on film yet, and I would be surprised if one of the other top edges impresses me more. Even in a stacked class, he deserves to be top 10, and at the moment, I think he should be the first defensive player off the board, and a top 5 pick. So those are my thoughts on Latu. Please let me know what you think about him in the comments, and who you think I should look at in the next film session. That's all from me. And I'm out.